What's up squeegee slingers and water fed pole wiggling wagglers? Welcome back to the Tradman Academy YouTube channel today. In today's video, we're gonna be having a look at the brand new water fed pole brush from Unger, which is this one. Stay tuned. So yes indeed folks, we're gonna be talking about the brand new Unger brush, the features of this brush, and why you might think about giving it a go yourself. So the first thing we're gonna talk about is the size of the brushes. There are two that I have been given very kindly from Unger to test out. So this one here comes in at just around about 28 centimeters wide from one side of the block to the other. So that's the smaller of the two, 28 centimeters. And then you have a bigger one of around 40 centimeters. So you've got two options there between the big one and the smaller size. And there's also a couple of differences in bristle choice. So the two options with the bristles is the flocked and non-flocked. So basically the ends of the bristles are splayed or split on the green ones. So that would be classed as your flocked one. And then the gray one is just your standard straight bristle. So depending on what your preference is, if you like the sort of flocked bristles, then try the green one. If you prefer non-flocked, then go for the gray one. But that's your two options when it comes to the synthetic bristle choice, green and gray. So in this video, folks, we're gonna really run through some of the pros and cons to this brush. Now, fortunately, the, the pros do outweigh the one con that I've found, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what the con is of these brushes. But let's run through the pros. What's the features of this brush that might make your working life that little bit easier? So the first thing to note is that you can quickly and easily change between the rinse bar at the top here or indeed the pencil jets within the brush themselves. Now on the smaller of the two, you have two jets inside the bristles and on the larger brush, you have four jets to play with. So just so you know, to change between the two different types of rinse methods, you'll just need a little push fit connection like that and then attach it to the hose on whichever selection that you want to choose. So obviously if you want the rinse bar, you use this hose and if you want the pencil jets, you use the inner hose, which goes in through the head of the brush there. So very good, quick and easy feature there, depending on what you prefer to use in different scenarios, you might prefer to use one or the other. So it's nice to have that feature. The other feature I thought that was a quite a nice touch was the ability to not only move the rinse bar around height wise by loosening off these screws, you can adjust the height of the rinse bar, but you can also put the rinse bar in two different locations. You can have it where it is at the moment, or you can see there's two screw holes either side at the bottom of the brush there. You can actually have the rinse bar pointing underneath. So depending on what kind of cleaning and application you're using, you have that versatility to choose where you want the water to be sprayed from using the rinse bar, over the top or underneath. So I quite like the versatility of that option. The other feature that I really like about this brush is the integrated bumper system that goes around the whole of the block there. So you can see this light gray colored bumper that goes all the way around the brush. 
that just protects your customer's frames and indeed the surrounds around the window, just in case you're a little bit gung-ho when you're getting that brush going from left to right. At least you've got peace of mind that you've got a nice rubberized bumper system on the sides there. And it also does mean that it stays on, unlike generation one brushes where sometimes those bumpers would come off, although I believe they've maybe fixed that now. At least with these ones, the bumper is actually fixed on and it's all the way around. So that gives you that little bit of peace of mind while you're working. One of the other things to note, folks, is how many bristles are in this brush. I mean, you can see there, it is absolutely packed. Unlike a lot of its competitors where there's a lot of space in there, where there could be bristles, this is absolutely packed full of bristles. So the scrubbing power of this brush is phenomenal. I have used this on first cleans, maintenance cleans, conservatory roofs, you name it. I have used this brush on pretty much everything and it, there isn't really much it can't get off. Now, obviously, if you're up against stuck on concrete, paint, things like that, it's not obviously going to remove that. But anything within reason, normal kind of dirt, these bristles are fantastic. Both the flocked and unflocked bristles are really nice and really good scrubbing power. So that's a top mark on the bristle front. Now, one thing to note is, now this one's a little bit of an older one because I've been using this for a few months now. So forgive the, uh, the little wear and tear and the dirt on there because it's been well tested this. But you'll notice this has a swivel feature on it. Now, just to let you know, I have had a chat, a quick chat with Unger. When you buy your brush, then it will actually just come as standard like this. So it won't have the swivel attached to it, just so you know. So if you do fancy and you really do prefer having a swivel feature on your brush, just remember to add that at checkout wherever you buy your stuff from, because otherwise it will just come as the brush itself and not with the swivel, just so you know. Now, to attach the brush to your water-fed pole, you've got a couple of options. Inside of this hole here, there is actually a threaded section. So if you have a threaded angle adapter, then you'll be able to screw this on, or indeed Unger do make adapters that click onto their poles that have the threaded end on the top. So depending on what you prefer, whether you've got an Unger pole or indeed a different pole with that threaded end cap there, you can use this brush with that, or indeed obviously it will fit with the end light pole. So here we have, just for demonstrations, we've got the end light short car carbon composite there. So the pencil jet hose, this one you can see just in the middle, we're gonna thread through the pole like that. And you've got two yellow buttons either side of that angle adapter. So simply squeeze them together till you hear a nice click noise. There you go. That's it all nice and secured. So that brush head is not going anywhere. It's a nice, easy, quick release system on these poles, really nice to use. But indeed, like I say, if you've got the threaded end cone uh, angle adapter, you'll be able to use that as well. One of my favorite features about this brush is the fact that when you're scrubbing down the bottom of the window, it will actually scrub the sill for you as well. Due to the angle of these bristles at the bottom, when you're scrubbing the bottom of that frame, it will also scrub the sill for you at the same time. So that's a really nice feature. It saves you having to change the angle of your brush to get those bristles to scrub that windowsill up high that we're speaking about. Having to change that angle adapter can be a little bit of a pain and it's all obviously time consuming. So having bristles that are already pointing the right way so that you can scrub the bottom of that frame and the sill indeed at the same time is a very, very handy feature when you're cleaning those windows. Now the bristles themselves are fairly long. They come in at five centimeters in length for the long ones. And for the really little short ones, they come in around two centimeters for these little ones down the bottom. So then folks, those are the positives. Those are the things that I've found really useful and the things that I really like about the brush. But remember, I did say that there was a con to these brushes. And if you stayed to this part of the video, well done. And now you're gonna find out what the con is so then you can make an informed choice whether this brush is for you or not. And indeed the con is the weight. Now, because obviously, as you can see, it's absolutely packed with bristles and Unger are obviously determined to make really good quality items. The downside though, is that it being more durable, but more heavy duty, it is quite a weighty brush. The larger one comes in at 665 grams. 
the smaller of the two comes in at just over 550 grams. So if you do a bit of homework, you will find that there are lighter brushes out there. So the downside to the weight is obviously if you're planning to scrub windows or fascias and soffits for any length of time, that that kind of weight can get tiring quite quickly and can lead to sore neck and shoulders. So just bear that in mind that it are, is quite a heavy brush. If that's what you're looking for, then obviously that will tick the box for you. But it's just so you can make an informed choice that these are a little bit on the weighty side. Now, if you'd like to try an Unger brush, but you want something just a little bit lighter, then the brushes like this one that came out before the one we've just looked at in today's video, this came out with the N-Lite pole just a little while ago. This one comes in at 197 grams, so it's considerably lighter, but it hasn't got obviously as many bristles packed in there. The scrubbing power is not quite as good as the brush that we've featured in today's video. So just to bear that in mind, but you maybe want this one for that kind of maintenance cleans or things that you're doing very regularly. The smaller one, the lighter one might be better for that. And then the big heavy duty one possibly for those tougher jobs, or indeed if you're doing some fascias and soffits that need a good scrubbing power, then the brand new brush that we've looked at today might be the one for you. So there we have it folks. We've seen the brand new brushes from Unger, the Flocked, and the non-flocked, the green and the grey, the big and the small. So hopefully that video has been informative for you today, just to let you know what's out there. Now, I won't leave any links to this product to specific suppliers. What I'll do is I'll leave a link to Unger's website specifically to this brush head. So if you want to find out a bit more, because obviously it's just come out. So some suppliers may have it and some might not. So keep an eye on your supplier's website to see if they have this brush in stock, if you're watching this video as it's just come out, and let me know your thoughts. If you've already tried this brush, then please, we'd love to hear your experiences, the pros, the cons, things that you have enjoyed or maybe not enjoyed so much. We'd love to hear your thoughts. But thank you very much indeed for tuning in to today's video. It's been really much appreciated. Smash that thumbs up button and the subscribe if you can. That'd be, again, much indeed, very appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video. You take care. Be good, oh, and remember, keep on water-fed polling. <laughs>